everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am actually going to be talking to you guys about my love for Alma oil. For those of you guys that don't know, Alma oil actually comes from the Indian gooseberry tree and it is a fruit that looks like this. I don't know if you can see. It is high in vitamin C, high in vitamin A, minerals, antioxidants. It is just such a super fruit. Um, it is pretty amazing and there is a lot of clinical studies that I'm gonna go over and then above all there's so many generations and generations of Desis and Indians that use this for hair growth and hair health and as a child I was told non-stop to use alma oil in my hair and honestly as a little as a child I had really long black thick long hair but then as I got older in high school I cut my hair I started dyeing my hair bleaching my hair and I just I stayed away from alma oil I just thought that it was very old school and you know, that's something that worked for my parents like I'm just gonna use like hair masks that I can buy at like Sally's or Target honestly that was it's my biggest regret ever like stopping using this um, I I seen such a dramatic difference in my hair when I started using this a lot more. I definitely got into hair oils a lot more during quarantine. You know, we're finally home and we're able to, I'm able to hair oil my hair like every other day if I want to. I actually do have Alma oil in my hair right now. But yeah, this stuff is amazing. And then I did some research, clinical research, because I was like, okay, my family's telling me that this is gonna make my hair darker, longer, stronger, healthier, shinier. But where is the clinical like research? I need to, I need that. So there's actually one clinical research study that blew my mind and it put alma oil up against Rogaine's minoxidil. So minoxidil is the topical drug that actually helps with hair growth and hair loss. And it is what makes Rogaine effective. And it put it up against alma oil and I was in shock. Alma oil was even more effective, if not equal or more effective in hair growth and it made the hair a lot more shinier and healthier. And I thought that was insane. So I, I just, again, I just, I'm so bummed out that I didn't use this all my life, that I stopped using it as I got older because I was stubborn. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I use this because I actually love mixing this with coconut oil and I'm gonna show you how I do that in a second. But I wanted to list some of the health benefits uh, that Alma oil provides to your hair. One of them being it strengthens the scalp of your hair. It reduces premature pigment loss from hair, so it helps with graying. It also stimulates hair growth, reduces hair loss, prevents and treats dandruff and dry scalp. And especially with the winter coming, I don't know about you guys, but I, I love doing hair oils in the winter because I find that my scalp is a little bit more drier than usual. So just another tip there. And then it helps pre prevent and treat parasitic hair and scalp infections like lice infections. And it also helps prevent and treat fungal and bacterial hair and scalp infections. But overall, it helps improve your hair um, and the look of your hair as well. Because honestly, this stuff, I have it in my hair right now, but when I wash it off and blow dry my hair, it is it's game over like my hair is so beautiful you'll see in a second I promise okay so now I'm gonna show you guys how I use it but before I do I do have a major tip if you do have blonde or very light hair I would recommend doing a patch test because this stuff is super pigmented and it is a green pigment color like this I'll show you guys just like that it is super pigmented and I, I personally really love the Dubar Alma Oil. Uh, it's just, it's a staple. It's all I've ever known. I'm sure there's other organic brands that will be just as effective, but I personally love this one and I'll link it down below. But yeah, so I love to massage this in my scalp, like in just circular motions and just make sure I get it all in my scalp. And then also just by massaging your scalp, you're also increasing like blood circulation and helping with hair growth. And then I love to mix a little bit of this. Well, I like to place this again on my ends. And again, my hair right now is drenched in alma oil because I already did this the night before, but I just love doing that. 
and just massaging it all over. And what I've been recently doing is I actually put some coconut oil in the ends of my hair. I actually just use this one from Trader Joe's. I love this one. And it is the organic triple filtered. You can use the regular one, but I personally like this one. And I just get it like this in physical form. Like, and then I just melt it in my hand. <laughs> this is so, this is so much fun. And then I kind of just put it in the ends and like just like the mid section of my hair to the ends. I absolutely love doing this and I find that it just like, it works really well together. Um, there is also a lot of the times where I just use almond oil and I don't use it with coconut oil, but I personally love mixing oils together. So this is just what I love to do. And yeah, and I just put my hair in a bun like this. But yeah, that is pretty much it. And I leave it in my hair for at least an hour or 30 minutes before I'm going to wash my hair. You can read a book, you can watch TV, you can even work out because as you're working out, you're going to heat up your body. So it'll, you know, condition your hair even more because your body temperature will heat up. Um, so those are the, some of the, my favorite things to do while waiting with my hair mask on. But personally, I absolutely, if you can, I would recommend leaving this on your hair overnight. But if you do have the time, I highly, highly recommend leaving this on overnight. It just does a world of a difference for me. And obviously when you do a hair oil mask like this, you don't wanna sleep on your silk pillowcases. I personally just use a cotton pillowcase and then just throw that pillowcase in the wash the next day. It will sometimes have like a hue of green to that pillowcase. So just make sure you're using a pillowcase that you don't care about. Um, and if you don't want to do that, that method and using like a pillowcase, you can actually just wrap your hair in either like a, a scarf or a those hair bonnets that you can buy. Um, and that will also be, you know, even helpful because it'll lock in the moisture even more. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty much how I use it and how I love to use this hair mask. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the shower and wash my hair. Um, I will probably blow dry my hair and show you guys how it looks right after. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, of course, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos. I will be, I have so many different hair oil videos that I want to post. I just, I never find the time, but I definitely want to show you guys some more of my tips and tricks. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. All right, guys. So I just wanted to quickly hop on here and show you guys how my hair looks. Um, I just dried it quickly with my Dyson Airwrap and yeah, that's pretty much how my hair looks right after. I'm literally about to hop into bed, um, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys. But obviously my hair looks really, as you can see, it's like really healthy and shiny. Um, I literally can't stop running my fingers through my ends because it just, it feels so soft and my hair just feels so hydrated. It, it feels like I just got a haircut, but I didn't. Like it's just so so soft and yeah so i really encourage you guys to try this oil you can definitely try with the coconut oil if you would like but highly recommend trying the alma oil but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a good rest of your day take care